So I'm sorry I look crazy right now, but I literally just got up and I was going to make poached pear crepes. And I am freaking out because there is these little tiny like light brown, not really dark brown like the weevils I googled on the internet, but these really light brown bugs all in my flower canister. And it's airtight so I'm really hoping it just came in the flower, but I feel like I've had that flower a while. So I don't know, I'm grossed out, I'm freaking out. My husband's just store to get more flowers so I can make the grapes. But I've gotta like tear my pantry apart today. Like I clean it like once a month, heavy duty, but I just don't know where the hell these things came from. And I'm so grossed out. Have you guys ever had this? I've never had this happen. We've lived here five years and then in the other three or four years we've lived in other places. I mean, my grandma and my mom used to get them sometimes, but I was little so I didn't really care. But now that I'm grown, I'm like, this is disgusting. I'm freaking out. Ah! Okay, so I was gonna work out this morning, but that's getting bumped till this afternoon or tonight because this pantry is getting torn apart. I read online that eucalyptus oil keeps them away and I have a ton of that, so I'm just gonna wipe everything with eucalyptus oil and put bay leaves and everything, so I read that works. I don't really get my house sprayed for bugs because we don't really have a problem with them. I should not say that. Knock on wood. <laughs> but. This is the first time we've ever had like a bug thing happen. I don't know. I don't really like the idea of pesticides and stuff. So, uh, do you guys have any tips? All right, I'll be back later. Bye. So last Sunday I talked about cheat day and how sick I felt and sugar hungover I felt. So um, this quote unquote cheat day, I'm making stuff that's fresh. These are fresh pears that have been poached, um, homemade crepes. The crepes have almond milk instead of regular milk, but they do have egg. Uh, let's see, a little bit of powdered sugar and some drizzled local honey. And that's gonna be the treat, cheat day, um, sweet food for today. It's not the healthiest thing in the world, but it is, um, it is all homemade and fresh, so that's a plus, and it's not all a bunch of processed like candied sugars and junk food, and I'm gonna keep it at this for kind of just a cheat meal rather than a cheat day like people were saying they do. Anyway, that's it, bye. Hey guys, it is dinner time, and I made mashed potatoes, asparagus, and this is a portobello mushroom with um, an herb, it's like crumbs and like five different kinds of herbs. And I did the same thing with my husband except with a steak. And that's dinner. It's Monday and I just turned the speed down on the treadmill so I could do a video. Um, I had a crepe but plain with like nothing on it. Just like a plain crepe um, before my workout got some protein in it and then I had some orange juice now I'm drinking water let's see after I work out I start at 10 I'm gonna go till noon and after I work out then I'm going to eat a cantaloupe after like I cool off um, I wanted to ask you guys if anybody has the pump pump up app um, I'll link like the website below, but it's like free. It's kind of like my fitness friend, but I like it better because it's more social in the fact that you can post pictures and have like a, I don't know, I just like it better. That and they provide workouts for free. Um, they, they show you like these little videos of exactly what to do and how long you're gonna do it, how many calories it burns. I don't know, I think that's really cool. Um, if any of you guys have it or download it, uh, my username is uh, Fibro Fighting Barbie. Add me, I'll add you guys. It's really cool. I like it. My favorite thing about it is the fact that it'll like do workouts for you, so you don't even have to like go online and find workouts to do at home. But yeah, that's my morning so far. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yes, I forgot to mention I'm watching Extreme Weight Loss. This is my favorite show to work out to. I love Chris and Heidi. They're my favorite trainers. They are like, they are the reason I started this journey like two years ago when I lost 80 pounds. They were 
totally inspiration to me seeing all these amazing people lose all this weight. I didn't even need to lose half of the weight they had to. And the fact that they could do it inspired me. And the fact that Chris and Heidi are so freaking awesome. I would literally get an arm and a leg to train with them. They're so awesome. So this is my favorite thing to watch. If I don't have an episode of this watch, sometimes I'll watch an old one or Biggest Loser. But I love you, Chris and Heidi. I'm eating lunch. It's 1.30 on Monday. I worked out for two and a half hours. And then I... um. Took a break, and this was gonna be like a snack because all I had this morning was one crepe with nothing on it. But I was so tired and exhausted, I just sat there for like 45 minutes. So I'm just now eating. Um, I'll probably have another kind of like snack meal again before dinner, but this is just organic vanilla almond um, granola. <laughs> I forgot the word for a minute. And cantaloupe, I just cut it in half and dug out the seeds and stuff. And I like to put my granola in it. And anyways, that's gonna be it for now. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tuesday morning and I am having a half a cantaloupe and granola for breakfast. And I am currently working. Um, some of you guys asked me about the thing I mentioned last week about making money at home and I'm gonna do a separate video not to sell you guys on it or anything like that this is only for the people that have been inboxing me asking about it it's easier for me to just explain it to the group of you in a video than to respond to every single message anyways that's my breakfast bye y'all this happened my asparagus is steaming it was too cold in the fridge and they got frozen, so I brought it out and added warm water to the base, and I guess it's moving up the plant and thawing it. And now it's smoking. Crazy. It's Tuesday at lunchtime, and this is what I'm having. Like, <laughs> I know it's on a lot, but I really don't like eating lunch at all, especially with the medications I take. I'm just not hungry. But my health coach and I talked about eating something, even if it's not much. So I'm just having a little bit of uh, roasted asparagus, a banana, and a pear. And then I have some water I've been drinking. This is my third bottle for the day. And this is a strawberry lemonade I made last night. I um, juiced a bunch of strawberries and a bunch of lemons and added water and a little bit of sugar just to sweeten it up. And I've been using that because I've really, really, really been wanting Diet Cokes. I still drink Diet Cokes from time to time, but the caffeine's just not good for me and all the fake crap in it's not good. So um, I made that kind of when I really, really, really am craving a Coke. I'll have a little bit. Y'all are probably like, what the hell's going on over here? <laughs> this is how I keep my herbs. This is a really cool tip. I saw it on Gordon Ramsay's show. So um, when I bought them, I first put them in the fridge and they went like super limp. So I put them just in some room temperature water. And they've been like this since, uh, I want to say Saturday. And they're, they came back to life and they're, they're just, they're awesome. So I'm, we'll see how long they keep. And this is my asparagus, this is how I keep it. I had it in the fridge like this, but they froze and it was making it really limp. So I had to put it in room temperature water. And that's what that video is that I posted right before this with my asparagus steaming. So as you can see, it's drying back out and coming back to life. So that's how I'm gonna store my asparagus too. And then there's all my fruit. Anyways, that's my lunch. Bye guys. Hey guys, this is dinner. This is my tomato basil soup and yeah that's what we're having for dinner hey guys sorry it's dark I'm just in bed and I can't sleep I'm like so stressed out right now I have so much stress about something that's going to be happening in about a month and a half that I can't talk about when it happens I'll talk about it obviously but it's just something that I can't talk about right now. I have a lot of stress about it, and I'll explain why when it happens, why I was stressed, but that and my at-home marketing job is like doing well, and I know that wouldn't you wouldn't think it's a problem, 
but it's make it's it's when I get a lot of when I get a lot of interest or a lot of leads or people that want to sign up, then it's a lot of it's a lot of time for all those people because I want to make sure that I'm a good sponsor for them and stuff. So I worry about that just because like it gives me it gives me headaches to sit on a computer and like today I had a migraine and I only did 45 minutes of cardio and I was so mad at myself. I mean, I also cleaned the house, and I know that, you know, burns calories, but I really wanted to try to do two hours, at least a day. And, I don't know, it's just really disappointing. So, at least my house is clean now. That's, like, not going to bother me when I'm on the treadmill trying to, like, do my cardio, but I don't know just felt like vlogging this because I feel like I want to be honest with you guys when I'm not doing well or not doing what what I want to do or feel like I'm doing like what like everything I can do and I know some people are like well two hours of workout that's like a lot of cardio but when you're when you well one when you've done it before like I have you know what your potential is and how important that you know two hours is plus of cardio and I don't know I'm just really stressed out and I can't sleep and I want to share with you guys just to show you you know I'm not like perfect at this and and I have bad days and days where, like, I know I'm, like, pumped a lot to do this and be successful, but there's days where I just want to, like, be lazy and... Uh, I guess I'm just really angry. I'm angry that I did all that work and lost all that weight and that my PCOS just, like, wiped away everything I did and I had to start over. It just really sucks. Okay, I'm done blubbering about it and bitching, so tomorrow's a new day. Night, y'all. Alright guys, this is breakfast, and I'm eating breakfast kind of late because I didn't go to sleep till 4 a.m. I had insomnia, I think because I had anxiety. Anyway, this is my breakfast. Um, this is just some organic vanilla granola. And I, I like to eat a dry um, and some fruit. Alright, bye guys. Hey guys, so this is really bad lighting. I'm sorry. Um, I'm about to get my workout in. I really don't want to today, to be honest. Like I said last night, I'm just in a funk. So I'm going to watch some extreme weight loss and um yeah that always gets me pumped chris and heidi i'm gonna do two hours today because i only did 45 minutes yesterday and i feel bad about myself for only doing that much so yeah i'm gonna get that in and then work some bye guys okay so i'm about an hour in i just slowed down for a minute so i could vlog i just watched um this week's extreme weight loss and i am so annoyed with the Christy, um, Christy, one of the contestants, because so many people apply for that, like every year, that would give it their all. She's lucky enough to get picked, and she just fucking squanders it. Like I don't know, I don't know. Like that's such an amazing opportunity. I feel so bad for anyone that's written into that show who didn't get it because of someone like her. It just, ugh, I rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> but anyways, I'm an hour into my workout. I have like, well, actually I'm an hour 10. I have 24 minutes to go on this show and then I'm gonna watch Biggest Loser. Then I'm gonna do some toning ball routine and squat challenge for the day and that's it. Also, yeah, I've been doing squat challenge every other day since it did not go well with my fibro to do it every day. Anyways, 
Oh, I'm gonna get back on my grind. Bye guys. All this. I hope you can see. That's all sweat. Woohoo! Finished my workout and I am so sweaty and red and gross, but I love it. I felt bad today. I didn't want to do my workout today. I made myself and honestly, I'm glad I did because I feel better. I just, you know that, what is that thing from Legally Blonde? Exercise gives you endorphins, endorphins make you happy? Yeah, that's how I feel right now. Um, I'm glad I did it. It doesn't hurt that I was watching my favorite Chris and Heidi Powell. I love them so much. They're so inspirational. Their show is amazing. Um, my camera just got really yellow. Weird. Uh, I can't fix it. Anyway, so I love them. I love their show. It inspires me. The fact that some guy was like 400 pounds and lost like over half his body weight is inspiring because it's like, okay, if he can do it, then there's no excuse for me. So yeah, I'm done for the day with my workout. Today is Wednesday. I think I'm going to have some veggies for lunch. I don't know. We'll see. Bye. My snack and lunch are kind of getting me mixed together. Um, I'm having a banana for a snack while my, oh, I don't know if you can see it, my zucchini roasts. And that's going to be my lunch. Here is my lunch. So good. I know you guys are probably like, you're really not eating a lot, but um, I usually don't eat lunch. So this is big for me. <laughs> don't, I don't want y'all to think that like I'm not eating enough or something. I just don't get hungry. And in my uh, health coaching, we said that I need to eat at least three times a day. So it's not a lot, but at least I'm eating. Is it's dinner time. This is going to be my last vlog of the day. I'm having the spinach, mozzarella, um, tomato, and pesto. Casey is on a wheat tortilla again. And that's my dinner with water. All right, bye, guys. Okay, guys, this is breakfast. My dog is eating ice off the floor. Sorry, he's crunching so loud. Um, it's got a smoothie with bananas, strawberries, and there's a bunch of spinach at the bottom with um, almond milk and ice. So that's going to be our breakfast. So I haven't vlogged since the smoothie this morning. Um, I was going to say, oh yeah, I went to uh, use my nook and to do my cardio and it was dead. And I cannot do my cardio without my nook so I can watch Hulu and Netflix and all that stuff. It keeps me on the treadmill for two hours. Some people ask me, like, how the hell do you stay on the treadmill for that long? I watch movies and TV shows, and that's how I do it. So, um, anyway, that kind of put a bump in my morning, so it's charging. Then I went and ran a bunch of errands, and I was going to come back and make lunch. My errands took longer than I thought. Then my lawyer called, because I am... Um, in a lawsuit I can't talk about. It's nothing I did wrong. Uh, it's kind of the other way around, but I can't talk about it. Uh, but I have to do a bunch of stuff for that, so I had to like hurry home to get on that. So I had to get food while I was out, and what I ended up getting was the Chick-fil-A grilled chicken sandwich. Just has the chicken. I don't get anything on it. Um, I think like plain, it's like 250 calories. I could be wrong. It's just something like that. It's not a lot of calories or um, a ton of fat. It is high in sodium. That's not so great. But this is the first meat or egg I've had like all week. So um, it's probably about time I have some chicken just to get some protein this week and make sure I have enough in. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've got to call my lawyer and then I've got to do stuff. I have to build some team members websites for my home marketing job. And then I'm going to work out probably by the time my husband gets home. So I'm probably going to work out with him. And yeah, I'll check back in later. Bye. It's my pet frogs. Oh my God, their eyes shine like dogs. Hey, toady toad. So that weirdness was a... What I call my pet frogs are toads. We have like so many toads in the backyard and I call them my pets because I love them because they eat bugs. The only thing I don't like about them is they leave these nasty shits 
And like, I used to Google like crazy. I thought I had like a raccoon or a giant rat or something in my fucking yard because these things would like poop. They poop these giant fucking poops. I'm serious. Like Google it. There's even like YouTubes of these things pooping. That's the only thing I don't like about the toads, but I do like that they eat bugs. So they're cool with me. Um, so this vlogging day is going to be a little fucking weird because I have not slept. It is 6.19 in the morning. I went to bed last night at like 12.30 because my day got so busy. I didn't even have time to make dinner. We ended up going out to eat, which um, that video of my food before the frogs is uh, veg like veggie um, fajitas. And that was my dinner. I had two like that. Um, my eyes are even red. Oh my God, y'all. This is like the second time this has happened to me in a month. And it's, and I know it's like either my fibro or my anxiety. And I, I won't, like, I don't like taking Ambien. I used to have to take Ambien, especially when I was going through some PTSD issues. But, um, I try not to take it now. I don't have a prescription for it, but I might have to call my doctor because I, am freaking going crazy. Like the other night I only slept for like three hours and then ugh, like, um, I can't even think right now. Yeah. Usually when this happens, when this happens a lot, I stay up for like, I never fall asleep at night and then I'm up all day in this weird zombie-like state where I can't fall asleep and I don't want to fall asleep because I feel like the next night I won't sleep. Um, so this is, yeah, this has been happening a lot. So it's either anxiety related or fibro can cause insomnia, but so I haven't slept and I'm going to go work out now. Ah. <laughs> I guess I'll see y'all later. Bye. Three miles on no sleep. My hot mess. My face is all red from running, but oh my lord, that is some serious effing sweat. Hey everybody, so it is, let's see, one o'clock, and I'm starting to get really, really loopy. It's been like a really weird day, but I'm staying positive. Um, my dogs are acting crazy. Like they're trying to dig out of the yard, which they never do. I mean, I put them out there for like two minutes to go to the bathroom. I don't even, my dog's looking for, I don't even know why. Um, and my doctor called and I look out the window and they're both like making a team effort. I think they saw like a frog or a bird or something. So they were like, like team effort trying to dig under the fence, which they never do. It was so weird. And then my doctor, which I called at 8 a.m. exactly, because I knew I'm going to need Ambien tonight, which I haven't taken Ambien in so long. But when I get like this, when I start going through these cycles of not sleeping, it gets scary. Like one point I was awake for three days and I finally gave in and took some Ambien. I'm going to do it now since this is like the second or third time this month I've been awake 24 hours straight. Um thing and my phone started ringing and I don't know who it was but I cut off my video I don't remember what I was saying anyway I called in the Ambien my doctor didn't even fill it that's another really weird thing um, I called my rheumatologist because he's the one that's given me Ambien in the first place because of my um, fibromyalgia we have issues with insomnia like this and he uh he, I don't know, they called and I don't even know who this nurse was and she was like, Dr. Sheila something and that, my doctor is a man, I've never heard of this doctor, but I was like, I don't give a fuck. As long as there's Ambien at Target for me to pick up a little bit, I'm good. So thank God that's taken care of and I really, I hate taking medication, but I don't want to go into one of those cycles where I'm awake for three days. It scares me. Um, so, and then I tried to make lunch and I was making some whole wheat pasta and it was like boogery and gross and I don't know if the pasta was old so I was like what is this so now I had to like throw together something weird I'm about to show you if I make it to dinner it's gonna be veggie tostadas tonight I don't know if I'm gonna make it that long without just taking medicine and going to sleep because the thing is like I could go lay in my bed right now but I won't go to sleep I just feel physically ill from being awake so long so 
Um, that's why I called in the Ambien because I don't want to have another night like this. And the thing is, I'm tired, but I can't fall asleep. It's really hard to explain unless you have like insomnia or have experienced something like this. So I'm going to show you my meal right now. And then that's going to be what I threw together. I had one wheat tortilla left, um, so I got that. Um, I scrambled two eggs, and I usually cut my eggs with plain almond milk, and if you saw my grocery haul, you know that the grocery store was out of literally every almond milk but one kind, and the kind with vanilla, which I don't usually buy, so my eggs might be a little sweet. I don't know. It might, it might get weird. Um, so, And then I put spinach. It's on top of a bunch of spinach. You just can't see it because the eggs look like they're so much, and then a salsa verde. Um, so yeah, that is my lunch after my lunch fail. So... Yep, that's it. Hopefully I make it to dinner to show you guys, and then I stop vlogging tonight, and tomorrow is um, when I edit and try to get it uploaded. All right. I know I just vlogged. Oh my gosh, my dogs are gonna start up. Um, rough, sit down. I know I just vlogged, but that was so freaking good. I think I'm gonna add that to my vlogs as a recipe. Yeah, that was really good. You guys should try it. And I think I'm gonna make it next week for my husband. Um, the salsa verde was from my husband's work, but usually I've, I've like made my own. I prefer my own, not to sound like snobby or anything. I just season it um, with the heat level that I like. That was a little bit um, hot for me and my taste, but uh, you could probably get salsa verde at the store. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Success. So I'm glad I messed up that pasta dish or the pasta was bad or whatever because that was awesome. I'll have to make it again. All right, bye. Until dinner, so this is my dinner. It is a corn tortilla that I um, sprayed with a little olive oil and put in the oven with um, fat-free refried beans, um, the vegetarian style. A little bit of cheese. I didn't use that much cheese at all. And lettuce and avocado. And that's my meal. And that's my husband's. He hates avocado. I don't know how anyone can hate avocado, but he does. But, um, yeah. That's what I'm going to eat. And then I'm probably going to pass out. I usually make this so much prettier. And I use, like, squeezed lime and stuff. But, you know when you're, like, super drunk and you're trying to make food and it's just sloppy and hideous? That's kind of what I feel like this is because I'm so, like, out of it and zoned out. It's, like, 6 o'clock now, so I'm going to try to keep myself up till 8 and then take the Ambien, but we'll see. Um, I'm probably not going to vlog again tonight, so... Okay, it's Saturday morning. We both just had a 100-calorie granola bar thing um, and orange juice before we do yard work and I do cardio. And so, I don't know what we're going to eat afterwards. Alright. A bunch of yard work outside earlier. For probably like an hour. And it's really hot. So, I'm just going to do a two mile speed walk and some arm exercises this morning. I'm almost at two miles. And then I'm going to do some like floor work. And uh, that's going to be it for my exercise for the day. Okay guys, this is what I'm having from Subway Wheat bun, pickles, avocado, spinach, lettuce, um, peppers, and olives, a little bit of oil, and um, American cheese, which you can't see. But I didn't get any mayonnaise or anything. Okay guys, I'm making breakfast. Um, kind of like poached apples with a little cinnamon and a pinch of brown sugar. And um, crepes again. Last night's dinner was uh, broccoli, roasted zucchini, and homemade chicken nuggets. Um, I just haven't been vlogging a lot because I don't want my niece in the vlog. She is uh, not 18 and I don't want to put her on the internet. So there you have it. That's what we're having for breakfast. Hey guys, it's Sunday and it's time for my body shot. Um, so I'm wearing a dress from Lane Bryant. And this is how I look this week. Um, the funny thing about this dress when I got it is it was too tight. It was like super tight around here. And now, um, yeah, it fits way better. I mean, it was like really tight. I almost like 
stopped wearing it because it was so tight and unflattering. So that's exciting that it fits um, good now. So I didn't film a lot today because I had my niece and like I said in a previous clip that because she's a minor I didn't want her filmed. So um, that's going to be it. I'm probably going to add this to last week's because I ha still haven't done all my videos together in the video editor so I'm just going to add this in and start fresh on Monday. Alright, bye guys!